All right, guys, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the LS3. Now, this is a really cool fixture. It's pretty versatile. We usually call it like a cove light, but you can also use it as an under cabinet light. I mean, really, you can put this in a lot of different applications, and you're going to find out why in just a second. So first and foremost, as you can see, I'm holding a couple of different ones here. Uh, they come in different sizes. You've got a 10-inch, a 14-inch, a 23-inch, a 35-inch, and a 47-inch. Now, what's kind of neat about this is that when you get the product, not only does it come in a really cool box, uh, this would be really good for putting in like an encounter area. Um, it's kind of pretty, you know, versus just a brown box, right? So this would be a really good product to put in your counter area if you're a distributor partner of ours. But when you get the box and you open it up, you're going to find that it's going to come with the fixture. It's also going to come with the little end here uh, that allows you to butt them end to end uh, if you choose to do so. And then it also comes with these little brackets as well. So basically what happens is that you're just going to clip these on the back of the fixture. Uh, obviously, you're going to use the screws that come with it. Uh, screw it into, you know, underneath of a cabinet or maybe in a co flight application, you get the idea. And then uh, you can easily just clip it on there so it stays in place. Probably wouldn't have to necessarily use the clips if you don't want to, because it is pretty flat. As a matter of fact, you probably are wondering why I'm standing in a kitchen. Well, it's because I'm going to be actually installing these up here later. And uh, I don't think I'm going to use the clips. I think I'm just going to let them sit up right off top of the counter. And I think it'll work just fine. So anyways, um, as I mentioned, it also comes with this little uh, end here. Now, what's nice about this is that when you get it, you can plug it in and then you can on the other fixture, you're going to take off this little cap here. There's a little cap that covers this up. Uh, it's this one right here. You're going to pull that off and this is going to allow you to continuously put these in uh, basically put them up next to each other one by one. So that is basically what that looks like. All right. So when you have that together, I don't have them quite together all the way, but you get the, the idea. Once you put them up um, end to end, uh, then you can just continue to keep running your rows however many you want. Now, just I shouldn't say however many you, you want. There is a little bit of a cap. Uh, it's 360 watts uh, if you're not using a dimmer. If you are going to be dimming these, they are only dimmable by a triac dimmer. And if you are going to be dimming them, you can only go up to 120 watts connected end to end. OK, now, if you don't want to connect them end to end, you want to have like a little spacer in between. We also make these little um, junction uh, cables connectors, a couple different sizes. You can look on the spec sheet for that. But same kind of principle. They just plug into the end and then you can just sort of like make your run and bend them around a corner or whatever the case is. Right. Uh, the other cool thing about this product is that it does uh, come with an on off switch if you want to shut them on or turn them off. That's really great for, say, like in a workspace for under cabinet lighting that we have a little bit of personal control from that perspective. Also, you're going to notice that they all feature um, the field set option. So you've got 2700K all the way up to 5000 Kelvin. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one on for you. And by the way, this is super small, as you can see. But anyways, we've got 5,000, 4,000, uh, 35, 3,000, 2,700. And some of them, the higher uh, length ones, come in different wattage selections too. So this is set right now at 5 watts. There's 7, and there's a 9 watt as well. Now, the most important thing to remember with this product is that you have to either buy the junction box in order for it to operate properly, or you can just buy, if you want, the, um, the cord that plugs into. So the junction box is just a little white box that allows you to uh, either, one, have a switch on it to turn it on and off, or just hardwire it entirely. Otherwise, my favorite thing to do is to just buy the cord. And that way you don't have to worry about a junction box. But I realize sometimes in like probe applications, that junction might box might be a little bit better fit for you. Um, but otherwise you would buy the, um, the cord here and that is how you would get your power. And that would just plug into one of the ends, making it really easy to, um, to install as well. Otherwise you got the, jun the junction box, which again, you have to have either the cord here to get power or you have to have a junction box. You've got two options for the junction box, one with an on-off switch or one that's not, uh, that does not have the on-off switch. And again, both of those would be um, hardwired. I thought I had a sample of that, but I don't have that right in front of me. Now, the other thing that's really cool to mention about this product is that if any of you are familiar with the LS2, we um, 
have done some testing and uh, there are some accessories that are compatible with the LS2 as well as the LS3. So for instance, if you purchase the 90 degree bracket, uh, these are magnetic brackets. This is sort of what this looks like. You actually um, get three of these. So what would happen is that you would mount, um, you know, you would attach basically, you know, depending upon how long your, your strip is, one or two or three of these things. In this case, I'm just going to use one right now. But look at this. If you stick it, there you have it. So, and obviously I would have another one down there, but then you could stick it to the side of a not refrigerator, I don't think, but maybe next to um, a workspace or something like that, where maybe you need a little bit more light coming in from both sides. Again, you get three of these. So I would recommend for a shorter fixture, maybe using two of them. Um, if you need three, great. Otherwise, um, you know, either way you get three. And again, that is the LS2 clip that I'm using right here. So either the LS2 or the LS3 clips will work on um, all of these fixtures. And that is also true with um, not only the 90 degree, uh, angled one, but also just a standard magnetic clip as well. So pretty neat fixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these installed and then um, I'm going to take a picture and show you what it looks like at night, all lit up. And uh, I think you're going to be pretty excited about what it looks like. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is the LS3 Vi Ico.